Happy Time Zone sports fans, it's Sunday. That means it's time for Blazeball News Network, Blazeball Sunday. I'm your host, Joey T. Badger. You're listening to 90 Infinity 5, The Sports Hub. So happy to have you here today. You are all amazing people for joining us. And boy, because you're so amazing, we got some amazing people to chat the current happenings and past happenings of Blazeball. Be excited, folks, because it's exciting times. Also, uh, everyone say hi, Joey. Uh, and please share that same hello to every guest that we have on the program. So if you can say hi to everyone, we would really, really appreciate it. Uh, so folks, thank you again for joining. So uh, we got a nice uh, a nice pack of folks. Uh, we're, like, we're like cool wolves here because we run in packs. Uh, so please help me welcome them all to the screen. Uh, please, first, a lot long time long time uh, friend of the show uh representative of society of internet baseball research cyber cyber however you want to pronounce it they created uh, a reblaze the the awesome baseball tool that we all love and use all the time please welcome astrid hello oh look at that mug perfect timing i've got it it's mine it's finally, finally it, it was it was a journey right yes, it was a journey it was um, <laughs> but uh, yes. we finally have have a great mug. Yes. Uh, you know, have our also uh, baseball carriers BNN mug as well. Uh, also BNN, great yes, also great choice. How are, you, how are you feeling today? Pretty okay. We okay? Well, so I'm happy to have you crazy. here. Yeah. Oh, you got monster? Yeah, uh, yes. Mon I believe. I monster mean, what do you think is in this? <laughs> uh, more monster, a concentrated monster. Obviously. Obviously. Well, thank you so much. We're always happy to have you here, yes. and can't wait to chat baseball. Um, mm. Next, we have a first time. Uh, first time uh, friend of the channel. Uh, they are a a reporter for the Hartford Pass. It's Hartford, Connecticut. So happy to have uh, some some more news media folks here. Uh, I would say uh, real journalists. I would not call myself real journalist. Please welcome to the screen Hunter Chadsworth the third. Hello, Hunter. Welcome. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you sound grizzled. <laughs> yeah, the coffee cup. The coffee cup. Oh boy, it's yeah. Uh, I, I imagine you have not had a lot of sleep being able uh, having to, to cover that for uh, um, for for the Hartford past. No, got to write all my articles, got to print them, get them in before the deadline. It's so easy being on the Internet. This series of tubes, I don't understand it, but my editor, they told me I had to come on. Mm -hmm. Might I suggest uh, Monster Energy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Baseball News Network, sponsored by Monster. <laughs> I got uh, my monster energy. Well, well, well hopefully we'll do more of that off air uh, at a reasonable time. Um, anyways, well, thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to talk baseball with you, especially the coffee cup. Um, next, uh, please help us welcome a new friend of the program. Actually, well, I, I, I won't reverse order. Uh, we, we're going to uh, talk to uh, an old friend of, of, of the program. Uh, they, 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 they run um, the sole proprietor of uh, the baseball podcast. Take me out to the ball game. I've uh, been on this program a whole bunch of times. Currently, uh, the producer and director of Blaseball the Musical. Please welcome to the screen, Kimberly Dauber. Hello, welcome. Hi, how's it going? I'm I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today? I'm doing like pretty good. I'm kind of tired. Yeah, because you're doing a huge project. <laughs> Joey, this is the punchy show, right? Where we can be punchy because, boy. Am I punchy right now? Hot oh. takes. <laughs> yeah, hot takes. Yeah, th thank you, Ashley. Yeah, uh, if those punchies, punchy leads at hot takes. Uh, we, we, the rails are general guidance here on the program. Yeah. Uh, but so excited, excited to have you back. Yeah. It's been a time for the past 24 hours. We've mm -hmm. been working very hard on Blaze Ball the Musical, which is how come the podcast hasn't updated <laughs> in like a month at least. But that's uh, okay. And we'll definitely talk about that. That's going to be a big part of the program later on because we're going to debut, I'm calling it, the new uh, Blaze Ball community segment. To talk about what's happening in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll be chatting with Blaze Ball Musicals because that's amazing. Uh, and speaking of Blaze Ball the Musical, you brought us a friend because you said we, it's, not, it's, not it's not just you. It's not just you developing It's not it. just me. I am I'm not capable of making the musical that I want to make on my own. So I, I brought in some friends to help me with it. Great, and well, welcome to the screen right now. They are the writer of Blazeball the Musical. Please welcome Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Hi, I wrote a musical. In... <laughs> wow, you sound, sound really excited. Sixteen hours. Oh, <laughs> well, that makes sense. Why you're maybe a little feeling a little tired. Uh, but so I'm all good. 
So so happy to have you here on the program today. Yes, uh, Asher, thank you. Uh, if, uh, we recommend Monster. We're sponsored by Monster, but we could, we're not really, but we could be. Uh, we Monster, probably should be. We should be. Yeah. 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 Uh, Monster, Get you know what we are sponsored yeah. by? Lamp. Blaze Ball Musical? By Lamp? Hello, Lamp. Uh, so happy yeah. to have Lamp here. Hi, but yeah, no, Blaze Ball the Musical, we're sponsoring you. Well, good. I'll wait for the check. Um, mm. But anyways. Mm. And, uh, we'll workshop it. I'm sorry, uh, you have to pay us for us to sponsor you. Yeah, this what? is a charity how that This is a charity event? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, how dare you? Uh, anyways, uh, and finally, our six guests, uh, very, very special. Uh, book them last minute. Uh, uh, so happy to have, uh, have her on our program. It's going to be so great. Uh, you may you may know her as the fatalist. You may know her as, as a person, uh, as the Murph, or as the person who pitched a shutout against Jessica Telephone, the best person in baseball history. Please welcome to the screen, Elena. Elena. Hi. Look at my mic, everyone. It's Ooh. a great mic. Oh, uh, wait, it, 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 ooh, is it? I'll show it off. Oh, hold on. Look at that. Yeah, ooh. fancy. Got yourself uh, Blue Yeti. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Nice. Show it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fancy. Can, can Ooh, we, the cord we... is pink, too. Yeah, that's my headphones cord. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I love it. Uh, great aesthetics there. Um, uh, so is, 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 this is your, um, is this the first program with, with, I don't know where, where to arrange people. Where are um, we going? Oh, uh, circle. I did <laughs> cheat. I streamed last night with this. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Well, no, it, it's good. You get you get all the bugs out, uh, and, and I, I, we get to hear your your wonderful sounding voice, and uh, we get to talk about baseball, especially with one of the creators of baseball from the game band. So happy to have you here, Atlanta. Thank you so much for being on this program. Uh, so we are all here. Uh, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about some of the happenings that are happening in baseball. Uh, we're currently in the middle, towards the end of the coffee cup. A a tournament of of showing off all the talent in baseball and inviting some guests in there. We're talking about uh, uh, po po possibly scores base runners' new dad, i.e., e. the commissioner. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, the the other tournament that happened to play out on Twitter recently for game of the year for baseball because that's I can't not talk about that. Uh, and then we'll wrap up with our community segment, what's happening in baseball, heavily featuring baseball the musical. There's a uh -huh. musical. Wait, there's, there's a. There's a music. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Whoa. Other yeah. Whoa. Secrets out. Um, it's written, okay. I guess, now. Sounds cool. Uh, uh, so, uh, Elena, uh, you are our, our, our special guest. Um, do you mind kind of giving us, setting a table for what the coffee cup is? And, and you were technically kind of in a, in a parallel universe in that cup. Yeah. Um, so the coffee cup is a, like, exhibition tournament mm -hmm. during the siesta. Uh, that sorts all of the players into their into teams based on their coffee preference, and then pits them against each other to see who's the champion, uh, who can win the coffee cup, like the actual cup. Yeah. Um. Uh, now. Now. Uh. Spo can you give us some spoilers? Is there actually a cup that that? They uh, were no comment. Oh, no comment. You're in here. A a Jason hot take there. Are coffee cups physical objects? Ooh, Just good like questions and wings and such. <laughs> what? Hold on. What? Uh, what, what? 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 A uh, what? A cyber question. <laughs> uh, I would. I'm gonna say probably. Ooh, probably. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, we just finished round three, and we're going into the finals, and we have our final two teams. Now, Hunter Chatsworth the third. You, you've, been, you've been on the case. You've been, you've been covering these games. Uh, what has been your biggest takeaway of, of, of the Coffee Cup so far? You are muted. This damn internet. All right, so yeah, I've been covering baseball too many years. The coffee cup has been the latest thing I've covered. And uh, every time I make a report, everything seems to go wrong. So uh, yep, that's uh, baseball. <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. Well, uh, we'll, we'll quickly uh, uh, talk about what happened last week because we didn't get a lot of baseball. We're happy to have baseball back in our lives. We, we, we've been on siesta for a while. And you know, thankfully, the game band was like, we we all miss baseball, uh, and our community loves baseball. It has nothing to do in their in their lives without it. So thank you, thank you, Elena. Um, <laughs> uh, and we, this is a four four round four round uh, event. Uh, and last week we had um, Club de Calf versus Inter Expresso. Again, these teams are based on the, the preferred coffee type of their their players. And we had Flat White XBC versus the Society Data Witches, which. Mm. 
which that doesn't sound like a coffee. That does not sound like a uh, any kind of um, any kind of coffee style to me. Now I mean, there's a cup, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, that's a very interesting way to to uh, to drink coffee. But Kimberly, uh, do you, do you, uh, are you? Uh, um, I know that you did. I don't think you get a chance to watch round three, so we get to explain in there. I about didn't you. see anything that happened. Great. I was a little bit busy. You're a little bit busy, <laughs> but I am going to ask you about the Society Data Witches and what their their deal is in the tournament. You're going to ask me? Yeah, like what are what, why are they here? Well, it seemed like there maybe weren't enough teams, possibly, to fill out the entire <laughs> bracket for the coffee cup. And so the game band needed to find somebody to invite, and they realized in true baseball fashion that the best way to get something cool to happen is to invite your friends who you met through baseball to do it with you. So the 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 uh, the the bringers of baseball to our plane of existence went to their good friends at the Society for Internet Baseball Research and said, hey, you want friends slash like sometimes sort of has a crush, but no, definitely not. Um, and said, hey, you want to play some baseball? And then for some reason, Sibber said yes. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how it went. How, how, do you, how do you say no to that? Yeah. It all started when Joel had a cursed idea, just like most things. Yeah. I'm a huge Data Witches fan. That, that's who I supported in the uh, coffee cup. Oh, thank you so much for, for saying that, Matthew. So you had a chance to watch them. Uh, and we actually, we had three special teams. We had uh, uh, the Society of Internet Baseball Research Witches, uh, Data Witches. We also had the, the Real Game Band, um, who uh, will ask uh, Elena there uh, what happened to uh, <laughs> to her character <laughs> and the rest of the game band. Uh, and we also had the Pandemonium Artists. So a lot of uh, three, celebrating three awesome pillars of our community um with with with, with uh, in this tournament um two of those got knocked out first round but the team that matthew supported made it pretty far <laughs> yeah that is correct <laughs> yeah baby data witches uh do you want to kind of talk you want to kind of talk about their journey uh through the through the tournament yeah we got past round one yep uh past the, the only only team and you swept and you swept we did a a, a, a it the, was shocking yeah 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 uh, somehow I, Somehow, I, I plan on covering you all, but then you just won too hard, <laughs> so I couldn't. Yeah, no, we we destroyed for some reason. Not for some reason, because we're really good. <laughs> it's also, yeah. I'd like to note that we were trying to discuss just how much we would lose by, whether we could sweat zero to three, or maybe we could take one game, and then that <laughs> happened, so. <laughs> no, you guys you guys beat a good team, too. Yeah, yeah. that's totally unexpected from the get-go, I think. Cream and Sugar had uh, Gabriel Griffith, uh, an ex-stake. Oh, uh, uh, Matthew. Matthew's Big steaks fan. Big steak fan. Love, love the steaks. Big, let's big go, steaks. let's go, steaks, baby. <laughs> was uh, it? Uh, I, have a, I have a question. Was sure. <laughs> it, was was part of the reason that why 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 did people why was it a surprise when the society data witches did so well? Like, was it kind because of, of all the was it because of like all the blessings that the other teams had and like the society data witches were all new players who didn't have blessings or something or. Yeah, looking um, at the stars, they were just lower. Like, yeah, oh, random man. rolled stars versus stars that have been boosted over many seasons is not great. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. very. It rare. worked out somehow, but the star count was like lower. I think. Yeah, just oh, like nice. the average star count out. ended up lower of all the teams, all the huh. uh, new teams. You only got swept once. The, you, me, we, we only got swept <laughs> once. <laughs> Um, so. Yeah, but it was really interesting because Society Day was sweeping a, a full team of veterans. It was really exciting, I, I believe. It, what, what, a, what a great sports story it was. And then round two, the Society Day just ended up beating the Atletico Latte, number one seed. Which was number one seeded, yeah. Number one seeded. Randomly seeded. Really but, closely. Uh, yeah, really closely. It uh, came down to, to like the, the last inning. Last half inning was amazing. The last pitch. If any, if the last ball had hit, then we would have lost. Mm. Yeah. It yeah. was that close. It was yeah. such a good game. Bases loaded, one. down by one. Yeah. It was a, what, 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 what a great, what a great, it was a great game. Um, uh, and yeah, cool. Atletico Latte. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it, it was, it was their game to lose, but they, they held strong. So happy to have them there in round two, but round three, unfortunately, things caught up and the good teams just, you know, like, like cream and a bunch of milk rose to the top. Flat white ended up, um, uh, uh, be actually, um, uh, Hunter, why don't you uh, talk about what happened in, in round number three? Whew. That's tough for me because I don't really remember much after uh, Nick Winkler hit his first home run. Uh, that was <laughs> very disappointing. 
um, the Data Witches were an amazing team, and I really gained respect for them over the course of the series. Uh, and I really thought they were going to pull it out, um, but the Flat White just had all the hitters going, mm -hmm. and, it, and it was just too much to take. And it was, you know, two pretty rough first games for the Data Witches, and that last game came down to extra innings, but just couldn't pull it out. It's amazing, uh, amazing stuff. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that recap. Now, uh, what was special about each of these rounds is we had a special coffee type for each round, uh, a, a new weather type uh, that yeah. caused absolute shenanigans. Uh, and uh, Elena, why did you do coffee three? Uh, <laughs> Can you briefly explain what was that? Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe a tease for coffee four. If there's a coffee uh, four. I didn't make any decisions on coffee three. Thank, <laughs> thank I will not take any credit for that. Um, I'm gonna push. It's all Joel's fault. <laughs> <laughs> all right, official on no. record. Thanks, Joel. All right, I'm gonna go um, tweet at Joel. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> but Dude. but be kind. Please be kind. But uh, stern. The, I believe Coffee Three. It just loves the number three uh, and anything that has to do with the number three uh, uh, in the game. You get uh, the pitchers. It was like a way for pitchers to unrun. So like remove <laughs> runs. Um, but it was like what point three run point three runs. Yeah, uh, really making it very run. complicated, uh, like always. <laughs> yeah, I believe the way it was explained to me was uh, you you add three runs unruns to the pile, yeah. which is the score, and they cancel out. <laughs> ah, it hurts my brain. Yeah, and it's just like anytime there's Ooh. a th basically anytime there's a three involved in, at all in a like scoring play is from what I remember. I didn't watch. <laughs> It wasn't a lot of uh, there wasn't a lot of of that actually happening. Uh, only uh, the first game happened a lot to uh, to the teams, but then after that, it kind of went to the wayside. So it was a very interesting, crazy time. Maybe we'll come back during the finals. We don't know, uh, unless Elena wants to kind of talk about maybe what uh, let me tease something about uh, the fourth uh, round. No comment. No comment. Oh, all right. No, that's it. Um, I, know I it do know what's going on, but I don't want to say. I don't want to spoil anything. All right, that that makes sense. Okay, but we are we we should be expecting. You know, can you can you say that we should expect a another uh, um, uh, weather type? Uh, no, I can't say. Ah! All right, all right. We'll respect that here. Uh, oh, we'll talk off air. Oh, yeah, we'll talk off air. Um, we'll talk I will air. say that uh, because it's the finals. There's a potential chance that there's only three games mm -hmm. so and there's already only there's already three weathers so even if there is another weather the chances of us getting it in a game because it's random oh it's very it, low it's random it's ra yeah I mean, good, the last couple times the first games have had the new weather every time right yeah uh i don't know if i don't know if that was just coincidence but i actually don't know if that was intentional <laughs> Sometimes the sim is better than all of us. Uh, <laughs> it just does it right. Yeah. So I mean, if it's a three-game final, then even if there is another weather, the chances of have of having it even once is like pretty low. So. Oh, it's so exciting! It? Uh, so you have to say you have to tune in, and and uh, uh, the Sports Hub will be covering that game live on Tuesday. Uh, I believe we'll be doing every game. Usually, we start with game two. We start game one at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So come join us. You might see some familiar faces in the booth with us. Uh, we're still booking some great talent, so that's really exciting. Is this is the simulation sentient? Uh. No comment. <laughs> it is. I knew it. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. So, so that is a yes. So we'll, we'll stop talking about Coffee Cup now. It's going to be Flat White XBC versus Inter Expresso. Again, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. We'll be covering here on the Sports Hub. A uh, winner of this will win the entire cup. That's amazing. Uh, and oh, I will note that there is one pitcher on Flat White that still has the triple threat modification. Ooh, that, that is. So it carries over. We might it see does that. carry over. Yeah, Lou Lou Rosehart. That that is yes. is the player there, the pitcher, uh, fourth in the rotation. So we'll see if they'll be in that game. Uh, so everyone, make sure please you set your idols in your favorite team uh, for that. And uh, we had, I had another very interesting happen over 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 the um, uh, over the week where scores base runner. We uh, we are the usual home home station for the Flowers. We love our Boston Flowers a lot. Uh, and scores base runner, uh, one of our favorite players. We, well, we love all our players. The scores base runner. Been petitioning 
to try to get on the society, uh, uh, the the, uh, the separate data bridges. Um, fortunately, commissioner said no, uh, but they sent the, the actual paperwork. Now, uh, does uh, someone want to kind of a lot of things? Yeah, so none of them were no. A lot of things. Uh, anyone here uh, get a chance to to actually see that unfold um, instead of having me talk about it? It was only partially my fault. Wait, wait. Well, I, I, well hold on. It partially, elaborate, Astrid. Did did you? How? What? Oh, uh, I think I was part of workshopping the idea for that, and I made like a mock up of it and sent it, and then went to bed, and then I woke up to the entire form being done. And I was like, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> It was it's so beautiful. So 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 um Yeah. Yeah, uh so I believe I, I forgot I forgot who, who actually ma made the form and sent the form. Eliana. Okay, so Eliana made this actual trade form that looks like a real Yeah. Splorch trade form that you would like trade players for. Uh and what was special about about this form? It was really good. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. good, good uh, I liked trip. it a lot. Um, ch ch check out check out the, the, the uh, uh, us on Twitter because you'll find us that we 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 post it. The form was Chef Kids, right? You are Cat Baron. You get it up on the screen. Perhaps. Uh, uh, if you can share it, I can get that on screen. I. Oh, yeah, there's merch. Merch. Oh, yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, this, yes. Uh, also, baseball cares. Boy, a, a bunch of mad folk, and we and we are here for it. I do not have a clean desktop, but I will find the link. Great. Uh, so, so as we pull that up, so we uh, traded, uh, this went out to the commissioner, and commissioner responded and signed their name in a very specific spot. Uh, hmm. Kimberly, are, are you aware of what spot the commissioner no, signed in? Not no? at all, actually. Not at all. <laughs> Zero percent. I don't know at all where the commission. Uh, uh, Someone should put it on the screen, though. Parent or guardian? Parent or guardian? Right, you are Matthew. That the commissioner signed the parent guardian four <laughs> scores base runner under perjury of incineration. Yeah. Which was. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, uh, wait. So <laughs> what's happening? Was I not supposed to answer? No, that was no, perfect. No, no, no. no that was, was an yeah. Thank well, you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No, I, I didn't know a thing, and you knew it, and you said it, and that's good. You, you, you. I don't have a picture of. Um, I don't have a picture. I, of I, I need it. Oh, perfect. Uh, great. Now I have a picture of it. Oh, uh, there it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen here. So here it is, and then I'll zoom in. So be beautiful form. Be look at the, look at this beautiful form. <laughs> so it looks like a real form. So they're trying to trade uh, trade course base runner to, to uh, from the political uh, latte <laughs> to the society of witches, which is what everyone wanted. Uh, so for some reason the game band said no. Uh, so the Parker filled out the front office use, all the typical uh, Parkerisms. Uh, everyone signed it here like a legal document, but under <laughs> source player's parent guardian signature. Commissioner's signature. <laughs> Elena, <laughs> Elena, <Billy five. laughs> Elena, what happened? There's a reason Parker isn't allowed on most social media sites. <laughs> 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 I wasn't. I wasn't there uh, when this went down, so I don't know what the state of the room was, but I'm sure it was chaos as always. <laughs> Uh, do you have any feelings or hot takes? Uh, um, because right now, it, it, there's some some uh, when when Stephen uh, talked about it on air, uh, he said that you know he's not allowed to do these kind of things. He doesn't have like a lot of the power, and he just signs whatever's in front of him. Gave him an out. No one, the chat didn't want Parker to be incinerated because we already lost one very recently. Uh, but what is your take on this, Elena? Like, is Scores Base Runner legal guardian our commissioner? Uh, I think now. Now it is. Yes! You heard it uh, first. I don't know if that was intentional on Parker's <laughs> part. Oh, but boy, what, what crazy shenanigans. Does it is, matter? is family not you sign a paper and then everyone just assumes that you're a family member and then you just decide that that must be true? Yeah, no, yeah. that's that's just family. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just family. Elena, I have an update on the uh, on the Coffee 3 situation. Uh, <laughs> Joel, Joel replied to my tweet and said, uh, oh LOL, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, or, or thank Stephen Bell instead. Yeah, so. Steve, you can blame Stephen if, if Joel okay, said you can blame Stephen. So blame Stephen? Okay, cool. I'm blaming Stephen. 
<laughs> any, any decision made in baseball that you don't like, you can either blame, blame Joel or Steven. Love it. Oh. Uh, if, it like, if it completely ruined uh, everyone's day because it had weird numbers, it was probably either of them. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, fair, 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 fair. Fourth everyone grade. should look out because Matthew has recently learned that in baseball, things that people say tend to become real. So, like, yeah, like if you joke about writing a musical, with it a little bit. like if you joke about yeah. writing a musical and then two months later, it's the Tinkerbell effect, uh, where you say effect. something. Oh. And, well, the Tinkerbell effect is if you believe in something hard enough, it becomes real. Oh, uh, that's actually really sweet. That's really cute. That's like <laughs> a real it, term. Uh, but in baseball, it's just. <laughs> It's just if you say it once, it becomes it becomes real. real. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> the the force of everyone piling onto your joke makes it real. Oh, I, I, that image in my mind is perfect. You have you have you're like a person's like I'm doing a bit, and everyone's like just literally jumping on them and yeah. just pushing them off towards the edge of of of, of sanity. Yeah, We're playing rugby, what, but with bits. Yeah, oh. we're just yeah. with bits. Uh, Joey's been asking me to do a podcast episode about how Blaze Ball is built on like the philosophy of yes and for like a long time, l- like since he discovered that we were both into Blaze Ball, and I think we might have to do it. I asked you once a long time ago, and yeah. you nearly respond, and I get when really you sad say about things, it. Joey, they I don't have. Uh, <laughs> I don't play Neopets. Not immediately. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, what, Elena? Yeah. Oh, I, everyone's talking about Neopets. I don't play Neopets. I never played Neopets. Neopets? <laughs> Hold on. When did we get it's Neopets? It's never too late to start. No, yeah. It's, it's a whole Neopet thing. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared about it. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. But I, I think, I think as, uh, uh, Hunter, I think I saw you getting onto the uh, the Neopet train. Uh-oh, Hunter looks frozen. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a very thoughtful face. Hunter, can you hear us? Hunter's just chilling. Hunter's just chilling. Hunter's vibing. Is Hunter just pretending not to hear us. Yeah, Hunter's what? Hunter's vibing with his uh, uh bottle of Tito's. Um, mm, yeah. Mm. Listen, all right. Neopets is definitely a designer dog breed, and that's all there is to it. And I'm not going <laughs> to hear any other things. That's what it I mean, is. Yes. In my it's head also head more fit. <laughs> like, wh- wow. Well, it's a generation <laughs> just, of improv, and I hate it. Yeah, I'm too old for this. Hunter. Wow. Hunter Hunter, did Hunter. you do improv in college? No oh boy. No. I did not. All right, that's you a lie. That's a you lie. No. Who do you, 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 you tell? Name. I've never done any kind of comedy. I'm a journalist. This is hard journalism. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just trying Hunter, to write down things over here. Hunter, are you happy? Can Can we see that? Oh boy, yeah. Can, can, can we see what you written down? This is, this is the grill hunter part of the program. Can you show that to the to the to this entire class, please? Yeah, it's we, so we good. It. It, it's it's imperative. Oh, whoops. Yeah, no. yeah. Show it. I'm just gonna watch this unfold. Yeah, well, I'm not, not sure what's happening. I'm, I'm, we're off the rails. Congratulations, everyone. It, it's beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> That's a, no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I'm doing okay. over here. That is journalism. I'll also, enjoy the, the new order of folks. Um. <laughs> I'm still next to my uh, two lovely friends. Aw, shucks. Yeah. But I, I guess the new order is just me and Hunter. Anyways, uh, thank you for going down that bit, rabbit hole. Um, uh, we also had something amazing happen over the weekend, uh, over the week, where there was a game of the year uh, bracket, <laughs> a, a fan vote, a fan vote uh, on Twitter. Uh, I believe it's called the... Um, Besties, right? Which is a uh, a lovely video game podcast, uh, and they opened up a sixty. I think it was sixty four team bracket or game bracket, and fans will vote on it. And Blaseball did pretty good. Blaseball did pretty good. Uh, anyone had a chance to kind of watch that unfold um, as they went through the bracket? I saw it happening, but I didn't see how it ended. Um, I was following it because everyone, no one would stop talking about it. Uh, <laughs> Same. It, yeah, so we were uh, a listener's choice as far as I'm aware. So like they had Aww. the podcast choice. So they had uh, half of the t- half of the games were chosen by the podcast. And then the other half were chosen by fans mm-hmm. of the we podcast. Four. So we were a listener's choice in the bracket. And then we beat, did we, it was Tony Hawk first. We beat Tony Hawk. Uh, and then Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima, and then uh, is that it? There was one more. Uh, Did we you, have another one? You you beat a team that act, a, 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 a game that actually sponsored baseball. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't remember. Aww. Oh. Oof. It was a while ago. Uh, I'm, that, I'm trying to find it here. Brutal. I, I do remember also seeing that Joel, Joel loves Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, yeah. yeah so that. while the poll was happening, uh, everyone was recommending Ghost of Tsushima to everyone else on the team. <laughs> So by the end, everyone had bought Ghost of Tsushima. I, was gonna play. I didn't, but everyone else did. Ghost of Tsushima is a good game. People it's really like game. that game. What can someone pitch this to me? I don't even know what the game is. It's it's Dark Souls, but samurai. What if I yeah, don't? Dark Souls but samurai and good. Yeah, I don't know what Dark Souls is. Uh, <laughs> uh, big boss stuff. Okay, it's like boss fights. Okay, that's all I know. All right, no, cool. it's hard. It's really hard. You die yeah, a lot. Really hard. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Thank you. It's it's struggling for fun. Yes. Oh. It's struggling oh, for fun. I know what. Yeah. That there means. you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hol it's, yeah. Hollow Vista. That's right. Yeah. Hollow Vista. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So Hollow Vista, uh, Blaze Ball swept them like pretty hard. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, like I, I will say, Hall of Vista, real game, real important game. Uh, also, just a, great a game. game. Great game. Great game. Go on record and say great game. game. Uh, not, I would say, a huge industry um franchise setting game like tony hawk pro skater yeah tony which hawk was, pro skater which we defeated uh in a shocking turn of events <laughs> yeah we murdered tony hawk <laughs> yeah murder tony hawk uh if, if someone had, has a link to the picture that was created i want to show that uh, eventually oh. uh because it's, it's a beautiful picture so so they beat tony hawk suddenly okay you, you blaze balls plucky and is go, going through this tournament and then um uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, a, a legitimate huge game uh, made by uh, the folks who made Sly Cooper, I believe, right? Yeah, triple A game. Triple A, like millions of dollars thrown in, in, into this game. Uh, huge blockbuster, like like fan, huge fans. Uh, and then Sucker one, Punch. Sorry. Sucker Punch, Sucker. thank you. Yeah. Uh, and then Blake's Ball upset at them again. Like, uh, I believe I saw it during 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 the voting. They they posted they being sucker punch like, hey, vote for us in this thing with their like thousands and thousands of, of followers on, on they Twitter. They have like half a million or something. Yeah, um, and then suddenly the tie got turned, but then but then late night baseball happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, I remember yeah. seeing. You love that. <laughs> yeah, and then just the tide slowly turned, and it was great. Um, uh, uh, Elena, how was it at the at the office um, um, dealing with that? Uh, stressful. Uh, <laughs> not really, but just more like everyone really wanted us to win. Um, although Joel kept saying that if we won and then we went against Hades, he was going to campaign for Hades. So uh, <laughs> we're not against Hades. <laughs> I think we're up against Spelunky 2 in the next bit. Yeah, Spelunky yeah. 2, which also I think yeah. was a bunch of people on the team were like huge fans of Spelunky. So we're probably going to have some uh, treason in the chat at some point. <laughs> Oh, I'm a huge Blunky. Chat. I'm a huge Blunky guy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was like <laughs> uh, during the Tony Hawk one, uh, we did so uh, we have like our rounds calls at five. And so it was like tw we finished rounds like 30 minutes or 20 minutes before the poll was called. So we just stayed in the call during it to like live update ourselves on <laughs> who was winning the Tony Hawk one. Unfortunately, the Ghost of Tsushima one was like two hours later than that. So we just didn't do that. But that that is that's smart for your sanity. Uh, yeah. I'm going I'm going to share the image that was created. I'm not sure who made this. Uh, if you know who made it, please share it because it's it's art. Uh, to commemorate the people that that were beaten and I guess can <laughs> canonically killed. Uh, th this piece of art was made. <laughs> oh, Tony Hawk. Oh, so we have Tony Hawk. Who uh, did this? Uh, Someone, please. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. We have uh, the past two commissioners, uh, Commissioner the Third, Commissioner the Fourth, uh, Goku, who died during the trial. <laughs> the crabs. <laughs> the, the crabs, crabs who, who have ascended uh, or, or climbed or rise. Um, Ball Clark, I believe. <laughs> and oh my God. And Blake Ball Ball Union is taking credit for it in the chat. Uh, who is? Which is also the account that. Tweeted it. So, oh, who was who was that, Astrid? Oh, uh, baseball ball union. Oh, Blaze, baseball ball union. Thank you for Yay! that. It's perfect because I believe it started with just Goku on the stairs because it was just a delightful <laughs> image after Goku died canonically during a trial. Uh, but then just this is just art. So uh, I again, do also I do also want to point out that I think that's the first sun up there, which the first sun. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh, I've missed sun one so much. <laughs> 
Oh, rest amazing. in violence. Amazing. Rise in violence. Right. Oh, that's. You get I mean, do we know if oh. it's gone? It might be coming back. Uh, Elena, true. Elena, do we know if, if, if someone's ever going to come back? No comment. Uh, no comment. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. It got swallowed by a black hole. Who knows? I mean, yeah. Tillman Henderson came back, so anyone can. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. So I that, tweeted out I tweeted out last night because we had a production meeting at like uh, 11 at night. And we made a, uh, someone made a joke about uh, Tillman Henderson being the next musical. And I tweeted, uh, Lace Ball the Musical 2, begrudgingly about Tillman Henderson. It's a good uh, bit. Uh, it, it, and be care I be careful what you say, Matthew. Yeah, be you careful. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to write this. a Tillman Henderson musical now. Matthew yeah, and I have a healthy relationship. <laughs> yeah, uh, six months from now, you're going to be making that musical. So I, Yeah, yeah. And Elena, you're going to be in it. Uh, I I I'm not a theater kid, so. I uh, no, I'm making you. Be Thank you. It. You're gonna you play. You have an empty microphone. You have no excuse. Yeah, you have yeah. an empty microphone, Elena. Huh? Um, yeah, it's a nice um. microphone. But also, we <laughs> we, uh, we we believe in, in in agreeing to things and also taking care of ourselves and consent. So. That's. <laughs> yeah, we'll I'll be the narrator. Later. Sure. All right, yeah. be the narrator. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll get, I'll get no, you in. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Yeah, you're in now, baby. This is being recorded. <laughs> clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. Oh, no. It, baby. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> but it, it'll be, I'm sure, amazing regardless. I can put it, I'll put it on my resume as <laughs> they're going to in a baseball musical. <laughs> I don't even know my, what my resume is going to look like I'd after update baseball. my resume for baseball, the musical playwright. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so we are, we are, we're already here. So let's talk about it. Uh, so that was that was the kind of week in in baseball. We had coffee cup. We have coffee cup next week, which is going to be exciting. Dream to just sport sub on Tuesday. Uh, we we had uh, the scores base runner and and commissioner becoming a family uh, through legal means amazing, uh, and we had uh, baseball just rising up in in a weird indie podcast tournament uh, and beat some heavy hitter titles, it, which was delightful because the community is a full, <laughs> full of a bunch of monsters who we all love. But now we're part of the we're talking about the community. We're, we, the community does so many different things from art to music to to to, to lore to role playing accounts to writing fan fiction. All this wonderful stuff that that make what make, makes baseball amazing. Uh, oh, we get a question. Don't forget to ask Elena where the percolated players mm. are, whether or not they may see him again. I might know the answer, but Elena, do you want to go on record? Uh, as far as you know, they are dead forever. Ooh, that's as a lot. As far of, as I know, there's a lot of qualifications there. Yeah, Hunter, write that down. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Hunter, that's a very good answer. Uh, uh, Hunter, uh, I, I do, I do love your your conspiracy theories. Uh, do you have one about the percolated players? Well, I'm pretty sure Parker's all of our legal guardians. That's my first hot take. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's signed it. Because he's everyone's legal guardian. Okay, it's, it's it's like everyone's best friend and legal guardian. Love it. Yeah, because he runs. You know the baseball league and so he should be our legal guardian that's how well, it works. I'm not sure they run that's the baseball league i believe that that honor belongs to the coin god uh the current god who owns god the league it. i hate that you bought that <laughs> well, yeah, so Elena. i love that you bought, we that. bought the coin i know <laughs> it's very exciting i don't know what to do with it <laughs> any official statement from elena on the coin that joey uh, has big fan of the coin uh i if wouldn't have bought it because that's weird. <laughs> yeah. That, that, if Joey kills the coin, does that mean the coin god dies in the game? Uh, if the coin god dies in real life, does it die in the game? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's reverse sword art. Uh, I don't know. You can try. We don't know. Yeah, we could, we could we try. We stumped Elena. And uh, and 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 that's what what's kind of like been like sad to me. Like, oh, I bought this coin. It's a bit, and everyone in in the game band's like, why? <laughs> the, the, the the community freaked out. The flower discord freaked out when it's it happened. It's very funny. Uh, and very good. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> that makes me a little, a little better. Yeah. Um, what if you What if you eat? That's what people. I'm not gonna eat the coin. People the eat coin. Eat the coin. We much? have to eat the book. We gotta eat something. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh boy. You're 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 a a, a floating blaze ball. Like how how are you hungry? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> no anyway, comment. no comment. <laughs> uh, okay, we we reach we're in the community section now, and a big thing about the community is blaze ball the musical. So Matthew and Kimberly, please take us away. Tease this thing because it's been casted. It's been 
uh, well, uh, uh, at least uh, stuff has gone out for casting. Uh, you've it's been written, so it's going to be recorded soon. So please take it away. Yeah. So I'll, I'll read some things from the website, which is at baseballthemusical.com. Uh, uh, baseball the musical. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, that's, okay. That's, that's okay. my that's my contribution. Let's make sure this doesn't get out of hand. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Oh, Rain said that does sound interesting. Yeah. And now and now, who is Rain? Well, Rain is the composer. Go ahead, Matthew. I can the see greatest, one. the greatest <laughs> person I've ever worked with, <laughs> ever. Rain knew what I wanted before even I knew what I wanted. It mm. sent me a song and was like, here you go. And I was like, this is perfect. All right, <laughs> Rain. Okay, baby. You could say it was right as rain. Hey, can you Yeet. expand? <laughs> yeah, you did. You're out. We're also back because we miss you. Oh, new order. Oh, I'm over here now. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, Rain's the composer. Rain's also the uh Rain's also uh one of the songwriters for the garages and the proprietor, maybe sole proprietor. I'm not sure of Fourth Strike Media, which mm -hmm. is also the production company behind Blaze Ball, the musical. So, um, so we've got a musical. It's about Blaze Ball. We're writing it and we're writing it, rehearsing it, and uh, recording it and editing it in 72 hours. Um, and we're gonna release it on YouTube, and you can pre-order the album on Bandcamp at. I think it's blazeballthemusical.bandcamp.com. That is. I'll, I'll, somebody I'll put somebody the link stick in the chat. that in the chat. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, also, yes, follow thank us you on everyone who pre-ordered so much. I am so impressed by I, your faith in us. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, also, I believe in us too. We won't let follow you us down. on Twitter. Something will be happening at a thousand followers. We don't know yet. <laughs> We're not a hundred percent certain what it is yet, but something will be happening. Here's the thing: people are like, "Oh, are you going to do this thing? Are you going to do that thing?" And I'm like, "We're writing a musical." <laughs> I wrote a musical <laughs> last night. <laughs> Yeah, Matthew, what, what was that like? What was it like to write a musical last night? So I woke up at at, at uh, 8 o'clock yesterday morning. I went to a, a reasonable time. I went to a, a production meeting. Mm -hmm. And I was, uh, we, we went through the story, uh, which, by the way, uh, the story, let me, let me go into detail about the story. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Comedy we probably points. have some lip readers on this so they can leak things. I did say I did say say one thing that's that's decently you know been been floating around. So okay, yeah. Uh, can you can you do that bit again, please? <laughs> oh, is that Joey? No. Can, can you do that bit where, where you talk about it while while you are uh, muted? While I'm muted. Okay. Yeah. 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 You want me to spoil the what whole, the yes, whole please. musical? Please yeah. spoil it. Oh, I can't unmute you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Joey. Oh, That's right, all right. right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. So uh, I woke up uh, yesterday. We I wrote a couple scenes. Rain sent a couple songs. Uh, then we met up again. Got some PAs, some wonderful PAs. Some amazing production The most assistants. incredible. Such oh, good my production God. assistants. Oh, they the gave most... us the greatest gift of all, which is sleep. Yes. <laughs> like, because oh of my them, God. because of them, we all got to sleep. Even yeah, rain, like at all. Even rain got to sleep. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. We've got we got Hollis, who's our amazing assistant producer. Matthew, you my got... son, my son Ace, <laughs> who's, who's my my little script boy. <laughs> We've got oh, uh, Lucas. Is that we a, got is Lucas, that who's being title? audio little tech. Script boy. Hmm? Little script boy is is his official title. Yeah, we've got uh, uh, Lucas, who's an audio tech. Hey, Lindsay, uh, and Lindsay she's from the my, And we've got we've got uh, uh, Julian's gonna hop on next weekend as well. And I'm so happy they're all here to help us. Oh, and we've got an artist. Uh, uh, can we announce the artist? You know, can we? Let's yes, see if yes, you can. can find the artist. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the artist. That's the tease. We have an artist. We Ooh. have an artist. Uh, and if you know the big thing that's already kind of been announced, then you'll know who the artist is. Can you? And if you know who the artist on is, air, you'll know what the big thing good... has kind of been announced. Okay, fine, fine. 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 Make, make, make good video. Say it. No. Kimberly. Yes, Matthew. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. 
Okay. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, Come on, let's go. The. Are you really sure? Yeah, no, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to okay. say it. The main character of the musical is <gasps> Sebastian Telephone. Oh. Scorching hot take there. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't say Tillman Henderson. <laughs> I am banned from Till. <laughs> that, that that one's for that's for the, uh, the that one's for the sequel. That one's for for Blaze Ball the Musical too, begrudgingly about Tillman Henderson. That mm. is the title. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, We're gonna get Tillman Henderson to make you cry next time. No, no, that's that's gonna be really hard for me to do. Oh I'm not gonna God. promise the crying. Emotionally, maybe. Uh, amazing stuff! Can't wait to see that. Pre-order on 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 Bandcamp. Uh, check them out on on Twitter. They'll be uh, releasing that on YouTube. Uh, but that that's, that'll do it for us uh, today. We'll do a quick wrap, a whip around, any last minute hot takes, and a plug for yourselves. Uh, we will go. I do have one thing to note. Yes, 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 yes. What is that? Yeah, uh, everyone completely ignored this because so much else was going on. But Cyber raised like three thousand oh, yeah. dollars for uh, yeah. For what? It's really huge. Yeah. And no one noticed, <laughs> apparently. Except the people who gave $3,000. Yeah, they would probably have noticed, I would expect. Yeah, let's quickly touch on that. So what charity yeah. did they raise it for? Uh, Girls Who Code. Oh, what a great, was great, great charity. on Love suggestion her. of Sam and Steve himself. Here's a, a fun fact about me. I not only uh, did Girls Who Code in high school, but I also worked for them one summer as a teacher. So. Oh, awesome. Aww. That's huge. Love that. Oh, great, 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 great charity. Uh, and a great mission statement. Love what they do. So this thank you for supporting Sam and Steve fault. So uh, if you want to know about that, we have an entire episode about that you can watch. Uh, yeah, so we, we, did, we did talk about Sam and Steve and the connection between Blaze Ball and um, Sam and Fishery uh, um, forecasting from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually like very entertaining. 70s, I think you can watch the episode. Yeah, so check, check out um, Blaze Ball News Network, uh, which who is this program's for, uh, mm. hosted by Sports Hub, but but uh, presented by Blaze Ball News Network. Check them out on YouTube, and that 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 shows up on there. Check it out. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll whip around. Yeah, one last. So again, Ashley, we'll start with you because you're already uh, plugged on awesome stuff Aww. that awesome stuff that that Cipher did. But anything anything else you want to add about the community or or uh, anything about Blaze Ball? We are all love Blaze Ball. That's about all I can say. That's true. Uh, anything you want to plug, like like the program um, that you made called Reblaze? No, you already know about that. Why would I plug that? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, you just did it for me. Come on. Ah, yes. Come on. Now nah, I don't have anything to plug other than Cyber is great, and you should join our Discord. I, uh, if you, feel, if you have any questions, you know. Yeah, Cyber. I I, I, put, I I put a question there, and everyone's like, "Okay, I love to help you." So they're so helpful, people. Uh, join them, support them. I believe they have a Patreon. Uh, awesome, awesome. We do, but don't give money to it. We can cover servers. Give it to the game band instead, please. Yeah, give it to yeah. the game band. Oh, sure. so they can. Uh, Elena, uh, I know that. Uh, uh, can you can you add one of the teams? Uh, uh, this is my personal. Uh, the 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 Chili's Bar and Grill uh, librarians, please. Uh, what? Okay, I'll write that down and then uh, throw the. Note away. Oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, just send it to Parker, and then nothing will happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just have, have a form template it. if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to, to trade for that name. Uh, but Matthew, uh, if you could please, uh, uh, anything else you want to add besides that, um, and uh, and, and uh, where people can find you, anything you want to plug about yourself. Uh, follow Blaze Ball the Musical. Pre-order our, sh our shit stuff. Yeah, well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm so sorry. I was so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna plug sleeping and taking care of yourself. Oh, self care. That's that's rule one of the sports sub. So thank you. Uh, for that. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Matty C Black. Matty C Black. Thank you so much. I'm so thank you so much for being on the program, uh, Kimberly Dob. Oh no, was uh, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Kimberly Dobber. Follow the musical on Twitter and look out for it because it's coming i'm oh, very it's... tired <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense also uh uh, uh the uh the also like podcast. follow follow like my podcast stuff but like later right now i mostly care about blaze ball the musical yeah. but if you want to follow me like after the musical then go check me out at blaze ball pod or go to blaze 
or find my podcast, which is called Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Mm, well done. Thank you very much. Thank Elena, you. Uh, Elena, the game band, uh, the uh, the person who did the majority of work to bring baseball to our, our yeah, screen. I did the majority of it. That's true. Yeah. Not all of it, just, just the majority. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those bowing, the bows, uh, Hunter. Uh, anything anything else you want to add about uh, about baseball, the, the state of baseball, community baseball, and please plug yourself and all of the cool things that you do. Um, Stand the firefighters. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at The Fatalist. Uh, I also stream on Twitch sometimes uh, at the same username. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't really have anything. I just talk about Mass Effect a lot. Play Mass Effect. There, there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if if you um uh if 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 you're on Twitter uh, Twitch right now, uh go subscribe, go follow, go support. Yeah, you it's, subscribe, it's <laughs> but you can yeah, follow also, yeah, if you want to subscribe. Uh, well, eventually when you, when you when you get uh your um the not partnership whatever it's called um affiliate status. Uh, I do Twitch. Um, yeah. So uh, follow Elena. Uh, great stuff. Uh, if, especially if you like Mass Effect. So thank you so much for being on the program. Thank you for creating a, a game that we all love so 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 much and creating uh, being allow allowing a community like like this to blossom. So you have our sincere gratitude and thanks. And thank we, you guys. And and we may see you in the in the booth on Tuesday. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Well, we'll talk. We'll have our people talk to each other. And finally, Hunter, chat with the third. Uh, thank you for being on the program. Anything else you want to plug? Any uh, final takes or conspiracy theories? Yeah, so first, all these notes, these wonderful notes are going to be available on the Hartford Pass tomorrow. So <laughs> go read about it then. Um, I also heard about a charity uh, fight between Glabe Moon and Nick Winkler that Ooh. is going on right now on Twitter. Um, Glade is supporting the one with the star, I believe. I could be missing, uh, messing up the name right there. And uh, Nick, I don't really care, but I heard it was the <laughs> Disability Policy Consortium, uh, mm. which is a Massachusetts-based nonprofit, which so is the one with the star. Um, they're both great charities, and uh, please support Glade. She is way better than Nick Winkler. Um, go into <laughs> Espresso. Um, and uh, down with flat white is, you know, those are the- plugs This I'm star will go out. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hot, hot takes. Well, Hunter, thank you so much for being on the program. So happy to have you. Uh, uh, follow them on 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 Twitter machine. Good stuff, and you'll you'll, you'll see all the notes. So thank you, for, thank you for uh, for being our scribe during this meeting. Uh, plug Astrid. I, th I think we pl we plugged Astrid. Astrid. Yeah, Astrid yeah. refused to start. plug Reba Reblaze. Yeah. I don't have anything to plug that people don't already know about. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's always good. So impressive. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I just bought Factorio while you were talking about some other stuff and <laughs> donated some of the bonus money to the Star Monk Go Out. So you can do Aww. that if you want to. Yes. Always bring light and happiness in, into the world. So thank you yeah. again. Uh, uh, everyone, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate you all uh, taking time out to watch and chat again. You are amazing and also just endearing and uh, enabling. And I, we love you. We can't quit you. Uh, Astrid, Matthew, Kimberly, Elena, Hunter, thank you so much for being on the program, sharing your thoughts. We all love baseball. We are all we are all love baseball. We have a we baseball musical coming out. Uh, Sports Sub will be covering Coffee Cup around four. Uh, we'll have some friends in the booth there, so stay tuned on who's going to be there. We we'll starting coverage around five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we also Thursdays uh, we have a new show as well called Blittle League, which follows a group of ten year old Blittle League players uh, who are trying who solve mysteries in the world and universe of baseball. It's a lot of fun. So That's check us out. Awesome. It, it it's great. Uh, we, we had our first episode last week. Um, I'm not gonna plug it too much, uh, but check us out. It's on the video on demand there. We can put it on YouTube soon and make it a podcast. So uh, check that out. It's a lot of fun. But again, the commissioner's doing a great job. We really appreciate you all again for being here and we'll see you next time. This has been Blaseball Sunday presented by Blaseball News Network.